My name is Peter Hurley. I'm a headshot photographer based out of New York City. I created the website Headshot Crew as a place for headshot photographers to hone their craft. So many of my students are kicking ass in their local markets and it means so much to me knowing that I gave them the tools and the knowledge to get where they are. In this series, I'm gonna be traveling around the world to meet some of these photographers on their home turf. This is the Headshot Crew Studio Series. Hey guys, Peter Hurley here, and I'm so excited because I am doing a Headshot Crew Studio Series, and my first one is with Elena Lekitz from Upstate Headshots here in Greenville, South Carolina. Hey, Elena. Hi. Thanks for having us today. Thanks for us, having me. Us, <laughs> me. <laughs> Uh, it's been so awesome having you as part of this Headshot crew. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Elena got into it, became an associate photographer, which is a, a level that people try to attain in the Headshot crew, and then became a mentor. And then she was the director of Headshot Mania, which was one of our conferences, and she helps me with the site with everything I do. I took the time to fly down to Greenville, South Carolina, to hang out with her, check out her studio, and see what it's all about and what's been going on with her with her photography so I have a series of questions here that I'm gonna ask her um, when did you first pick up a camera well I bought my husband a camera and it sat around the house for about a year he never touched it wasn't interested so I was like hey I'm gonna play with this and I fell in love so it just started because you, you buy your husband a camera and you end up the photographer <laughs> <laughs> somehow that's how it works these things happen um, do you remember the first time you charge somebody or what, it, what what did you charge for when you first started shooting? Well when I first started shooting I was shooting babies, families, um, I did a few corporate events and then I started gradually getting into weddings. So my first paid clients were children and families. So out of the studio? Out of the studio. You I didn't have a studio. did not have a studio when I first started. Did you have any gear besides that? first camera what was your first camera it was a Canon Rebel um, whatever that current edition was that we bought the Costco kit <laughs> <laughs> there you go oh my gosh so how many years would you say you were shooting before you ended up deciding that you needed a studio what what spurred you going wait I need a space so I actually never thought I wanted a studio space I was pretty content and happy shooting families on location doing weddings I didn't really think a studio was needed I thought what was needed was more of a consultation space where brides could come in or families could come in and we could discuss the sessions um, but I never was really interested in actually shooting studio portraiture um, when I first got started so what changed all that I was perusing on Craigslist one day and came across this amazing space and I couldn't pass it up. I thought, all right, this is meant to be. Um, and I actually designed the space more for a consultation area with a very small shooting space. Um, so this is not the way it looked when you got it off Craigslist? No, we did some remodeling. I told my husband I just wanted to paint some walls, patch some holes. You know just put my fresh touch on it he goes out of town for a week comes back and I've completely demolished the inside I tore everything down took it down to the studs and rebuilt and it's beautiful <laughs> and and really cozy and has your stamp but like you walk in and you feel like this is a professional space I'm sure people feel comfortable in here and comfort with our clients is always huge for people you know we want them to be comfortable in front of the camera and I think this lends to it having a space where they feel like that's inviting and this is very uh, really nice when you walk in and the shooting space is really small so that you can get everything that you need to get done I mean headshot wise you don't need a bigger space than that it's perfect uh, what about your process when working with people has changed compared to when you first started shooting so when I was first shooting kids they're a little bit easier you can just make them laugh and you can have fun with them they'll be themselves but the families were terrible. I had no idea how to direct them. I had no idea how to position them. It was just, all right, everybody stand together, get close, and cheese. <laughs> so you can only imagine. My transformation has been huge. Um, after studying with you, I've learned how to direct clients. I know exactly what to tell them. I know exactly what to do with them to get what I want out of them. Um, and that's something that was missing from my work for five years. Chin down right there, perfect. Turn your belly button slightly to the left. 
Now bring that nose back to the right. Square up with me just a teeny tiny bit more with those shoulders. A little tiny right there. Bring that nose back around slightly right there. Perfect. Chin down just a teeny tiny bit right there. A little less serial killer. Straighten that back for me. Right there. Yes. And I just want you to right here. Pull the corners of your lips towards your earlobes slightly. A little less misery. Come on. Right there. Jam that face right to me. Keep your eyes just like that. Come on, come on, get your butt back here. Come here. <laughs> Pull your act together. Come on. You're very kind. I've seen you shoot. Uh, and I've seen you handle a space. I've seen you shoot an event. I've seen you shoot headshots. Um, I've seen you working. And your confidence behind the camera is infectious for your clientele. It's obvious. How is that? Have you noticed that change over the years? And that just keeps you just keep getting more confident in your craft? Or? Absolutely. Every time I shoot, I think I'm a little bit more confident. But knowing that I've got not, not only the technical tools that I need, but the mindset and just knowing that is huge. Knowing that I can, you know, see someone, Sherlock Holmes their face and know exactly how I want to light them, exactly how I want to position them, and I can lay a line on them and get that expression I want um, is huge. So what really drew you to headshot photography? I was walking through Imaging USA in Nashville in 2015, heading back to my hotel room, and I hear this laughter and just noise coming from this classroom, and I'm thinking, that's not normal. What in the world is happening in there? So I peeked my head in, and I heard a big shabang. I was like, oh boy, let's, let's check this out. Snuck in the back of that room, sat there and caught the rest of your class, and was completely enthralled with the idea of switching to headshots. I was like, you know what, I'm not just going to add it. Like, I want to do this 24-7. Um, and it's obviously worked out very well. Being a member of the Headshot Crew has completely changed my life. I've met some of the best people in the world, my mentors, my associates, my friends. Um, I've got a support system here that is beyond anything I ever could have imagined. How do you feel about the market here in Greenville and, and in terms of, I know you're not only taking on work here, but you travel and you do other work in other cities. So how does that come into play? And do you get clientele asking you to go? How do you get clientele in other cities as well as run your business here? So I think one of the biggest questions I get asked, oh my God, you're a headshot photographer. What else do you shoot? No, just headshots. People are like, you can do that. The market is insane for headshots. Um, it's booming. So I get my clients here locally through word of mouth and usually when I work with the larger corporations they send me to different communities. Um, most of it's in the southeast but it's nice to travel. I love going and setting up at different offices um, and I'm actually working on expanding that as well at the moment um, because it's there. And how much of your work is done outside of the studio compared to in here? I'd say right now probably about 30 percent. 30 percent outside? Yeah. So you're shooting clients in here weekly, yep. and then you'll get gigs where you're... So I'll go, I'll go on location um, and shoot probably three to four times a month, and other than that, it's individual sessions in studio. You feel like I've got a string on your nose, I'm pushing your body back, and I'm pulling your nose. Right there, perfect. Chin up slightly. Chin up just a teeny tiny bit right there. Drop the shoulder. Perfect, hold that. No, the other one. <laughs> the unspot right here. Bring that nose straight to me. Chin down slightly. Chin down slightly. Bring that nose right to me. Perfect, but a little less misery. All right, come around and take a look at these. <laughs> I like that whole expression. I like everything about that. Get you to jam the face out. What it does is it gets a nice, clean jawline there. Just change the angle. So that's perfect. Uh, when you go on location, you've obviously got a kit that you run with. Uh, in here, do you use the same stuff? How'd you build it out? How'd you find it? How did you put everything together? So I, <laughs> I'm so <laughs> lucky that you laid out this beautiful recipe for us to follow. Um, so I definitely have followed your guidelines on the gear. Um, I couldn't do what I do without my flex kit. So easy to travel with, so portable, so easy to maneuver in a small space in the studio. Um, of course, I need my Canon camera. I've got my tether cables. Can't, can't live without those things. Um, but they're all easy to travel with, easy to throw on, throw in a bag and hit the road. 
Okay. And obviously you throw some apple boxes in the car? I always carry apple boxes. <laughs> Uh, so she's vertically challenged, I would say. Um, so apple boxes are a must. So it's really, it's, it's been great because I did, I have been working for so long putting these, these products together that, that, that I, I stand behind the things that I really love and the people, when I do my, my workshops and my headshot intensive, people come in with Faisals, people tell me they have a flex kit at home, you know, and these things, uh, help us get our job done and she's living proof that it's it's working and the gear is really really important that you've got it down it's Let's crucial you can't do this job without it um i can set up anywhere and be fine so that's it guys the headshot crew studio series first take with elena lutkitz is over this is it this is the first one i've done i'm so excited to be here and do it Guys, stay tuned. We're going to be doing more of these. How cool is this? So I, I appreciate your time, and, and uh, thanks for allowing us into this beautiful studio. Thank you. Right. See you guys. Shebang! To become a member of the crew and start upping your headshot game, visit headshotcrew.com.